I want to talk about selfies. I think selfies are fun. Tip number one. Clean, clean the, the lens. lens. <laughs> now, if you've been following us at all, you've seen this before, but I'm going to do it again. And I am going to take a selfie. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm not sure. You might have been able to see how fuzzy the screen looked. I'm going to take a cloth and clean the lens. Now, what lens am I talking about? I'm not talking about these lenses. That's when you take a regular photo. When you're taking a selfie, it's on the screen right at the top. It's just a little dot. And any just the corner of a t-shirt will work fine. I have these little microfiber cloths and make sure that's clean. Now I'm going to take the same selfie again. Okay, and I will show you the results. So I'm going into Google Photos and there is the photo with the dirty lens. There is the photo with the clean lens. All I did between that picture and that picture was clean the lens. Very, very important, especially for selfies. I mean, you should clean this lens too. When you take a regular picture, you should clean this lens, but it doesn't tend to get as dirty as the one that's on the front of your phone. Now, why take selfies? I'm sure some of you are saying, oh, I don't take selfies. I don't like selfies. Well, okay, but I'm not talking about the teenager that is taking glamour shots of themselves. Duck, no, no, no. Duck lips. I say the reason for, a reason for taking selfies is to have memories with your friends. You're with a group of friends. You want a picture of all of them. You don't want to have to tell one friend to get up and take the picture of the rest of you. A selfie is a way to do that. Or if you're with, <laughs> that's, that's me and Joey at the top, the llama. I, there was nobody around. I'm communing with this llama. I want a picture, a selfie. Or if you're in famous places, you need to prove that you were there, right? So Stonehenge and the Tower Bridge in London, we are going to take a selfie. If you have had to sort through somebody's old pictures, you know that just the scenic pictures are not worth much. It's the pictures with people. And if the only way to do that is a selfie, do it. Now you do need to be a little bit careful. <laughs> Notice in that top one, my arm is in the picture. So you should be using an outside arm. In this case, I should have given the phone to Jim and let him take the selfie. And in the second picture, we did have somebody else to take the photo. If somebody offers to take the photo for you, take them up on it. It will almost always be better than, than the selfie. And why do most people take selfies vertical? Well, I think it's because it's easier to, to touch the shutter button, to hold it with one hand and touch the shutter button. But I like to get the background. I like to get more than one person. I like to take my selfies horizontal. So I want to show you some other ways to snap the shutter button. The timer is my number one tip for taking selfies, actually. Notice that there is a timer. That is the little clock right there. So if you tap the little clock, you can choose a two second, five second, or 10 second. Now I usually choose two or five, but I'm gonna choose 10 now because I'm gonna keep talking. I, I tap the 10 second timer. Now I go ahead and tap the shutter button now. Tap it, that starts the timer. And I now have seven more seconds to position the phone and frame the shot. And then I don't have to tap the shutter button. It did it for me when the timer stopped. When the timer stopped. Okay, so where is that on the iPhone? In the camera. I do not see a clock right away, but notice this little up arrow. If you tap on that, it reveals another line of options down at the bottom. 
tap the little up arrow. Now I have to move over. There's the clock. And I will set it for 10 seconds. I am in selfie mode. I, for I tap the clock. I make sure it's set to 10 seconds. I tap the shutter button. I now have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> but I did not have to use my other arm to tap the shutter button. So timer, I, that's my number one tip for taking selfies is the timer. But there are others. Did you know that the volume buttons on your phone are a camera shutter button? So if you're holding the phone in such a way that your thumb is on either the up or the down volume button, you can press that to take a photo. Now the timer is going, so it won't take it until 10 seconds. So I guess that's another tip. Turn the timer off <laughs> after you've used it. <laughs> Two tips in one. Yeah, turn the timer <laughs> off after you've used it so that the next time you go to take a picture, it's not doesn't start the timer. Bonus tip. But those volume buttons, I mean, try it right now on, pick up your phone, go into the camera, and just tap a volume button. Anybody still have earbuds like these? They have volume controls on them, remember? There's an up and a down volume. So if this is plugged into your phone, you can use these volume buttons as a remote shutter. Then there's voice commands. Yeah. On Samsung. There's no voice commands on iPhone, but there is one little one that I will show you. On Samsung, in the camera, under settings, there is shooting methods. Voice commands, take pictures by saying these words or show your palm. So if those are on, then you can go into the camera and show your palm. It will start a two second timer. Or a three second in my case. Or better yet, smile. And it takes, it takes a picture. Now on the iPhone and on the Android, if you have the Google Assistant, the Google Assistant is this, those three bubbles. If I go there and I sit and I take a selfie, okay, get ready. it starts a three second timer and takes a picture. So on the iPhone, you don't have the voice commands, but if you have the Google Assistant, you can do that. <laughs> selfie sticks, right? Anybody have a selfie stick? I love this one. Number one, it can get really long, hmm. but it can also be a tripod. So you just put your phone in there and then you have this little remote. It's Bluetooth. So you have to make sure that your phone is connected to the remote via Bluetooth. And then you can take a picture by pressing that button. And this even comes out. So I could set this up as a tripod a ways away and I can take the picture with the remote button. And then the last one is using your Apple Watch. This is an Apple iPhone. You should get into the camera and make sure it's on whichever lens you want. You know, the, the extra wide angle is usually good for, for selfies. Okay, so here's my Apple Watch. I go to my apps. I have mine arranged alphabetically rather than in that swarm and you find camera remote. It is showing me what the camera is seeing, what the iPhone is seeing. And when I tap on three seconds, it starts a three second timer and takes a picture. 
So I use that for group shots all the time. Now, I just want to show you some selfies and tell you how we took them. So for example, here we are kayaking on the canals of Venice. We have to have a picture of the two of us. That doing is that. not photoshopped. <laughs> that is not photoshopped, right. Now, how did I do that? That was a time that I did use the selfie stick because I wanted to easily be able to just press a button even though the camera was far away. So that was taken using a selfie stick. Um, now this one, Jim was just holding his phone out, taking a selfie. The reason I show you this one is to say if you want something in the background, put some distance between you and the thing you want. And this one is just one to say, hey, if you're going to be in some special places, you want pictures of yourself there. Now, now here is one. I used the selfie stick as a tripod and sat it up, and then I used the little remote. Here is the one that we have a group of friends, and Jim takes a selfie so that nobody had to get out of the picture. Now, I will take a scenic shot also, but there's no way we're going to be there and not get our faces in the shot, too. And another, this was just a passerby. You know, we just grabbed somebody walking on the on the walking deck of a cruise ship. Ah, now this is a special one. If you are, especially a woman, over a certain age, do you notice how my skin doesn't look like it probably really does there? What is it? And I did not retouch this. I did not edit it after the fact. So there's a special setting on some phones to smooth the wrinkles. Right. On the Samsung, that setting is found underneath those two little squares. I camera and it's that little button right there and face. And now you have a slider down here for smoothness. I can turn the smoothness all the way off at zero or all the way up <laughs> at eight. I kind of like it all the way up. And I think it must be on by default because I don't remember ever going in here. And that is our tips for taking selfies. I think it's fun.